Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name's Aaron, and today you guys are watching some Round 95 high round gameplay on the map Shadows of Evil, if you couldn't tell from the video. So, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is the flip side, because I did show you the strategy where we take the gun up to the top and we kill them, and it's really, really fast, and we can get like 200 zombies in two minutes at some point if we have alchemical warfare. But this gameplay right here is why the game takes forever. Whenever you run out of ammo in the Wonder Weapon, this is behind the scenes. So I like to call this just a behind the scenes zombie game. And this is what we do. We run around with Blast Furnace. And I know a ton of people recommended it to me. Like, oh, you don't even need the Wonder Weapon. Just run around with Blast Furnace. Yes, that sounds good. But whenever I hear that, I just, no disrespect to any of you guys, but I hear some low round zombies players trying to like help me in the high rounds it is completely different because this round I'm looking on my Elgato right now took a little over 28 minutes yes this is almost a 30 minute round and to put that in perspective a uh, speed run on this map has round 50 in one hour so I would say 30 minutes is it's just too much around especially for doing this but you have to do it. And here's the thing, we also have the sword. If we did not have the sword, these rounds would be so long. I mean, yes, you could use Blast Furnace in the low rounds. I would say up until 50, you could use Blast Furnace and it'd be kind of fast. But you're almost guaranteed a max ammo before the gun runs out of ammo at that round. So I would just use the Wonder Weapon. There's really no point in using Blast Furnace unless you absolutely have to. There's no reason why calling this a strategy works because it's not. It takes forever. If we could find something a little different, if that trap worked, anything really, because you do have to wait 20 seconds per horde to let your Blast Furnace come back up. Then you have to wait for them to hoard up because they all walk at different speeds now. And you have the one that can sprint walk even faster than you. So you got to find a way to knot them up or just let Blast Furnace take care of it. I think right here, I was just, I, I let Blast Furnace do the job. I used to tight hoard over here next to Widow's Wine. I would do a nice little cut back and I would make sure I got every single one. But, you know, that gets old, and I was like, eh, I'm just walking around. <laughs> it's 95, I'm just walking around. So, the next part of my video, we'll be talking about open lobbies again. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people are adding me on Xbox, they're sending me messages, and wondering, when can we have another open lobby for zombies? And all I have to say right now is, I don't know. I mean, I've been playing a lot of competitive, and if you see me, if you ever see me playing search and destroy on anything like on any of my accounts do not join guys because that means i'm playing competitive search and destroy i'm in a game battles and we could possibly lose that map due to a forfeit for not having the game on closed for inviting people etc etc but a few of you guys did join and it's okay i mean maybe i was harsh told you to leave but it, it needed to be done you, you know you can't be inside of a uh, game battles game if you're not on the website like if you're not on part of the gamer tags that the people invite and they could get salty and make us lose so just want to let you guys know that open lobby i have no idea i do want to do another open lobby maybe next week if i can i don't know if i'll be home but i will try to do an open lobby let's just say like Maybe this coming weekend, I'll do a little mini open lobby. Like, I will not have a full day to it, but if you guys are down to play, I'll be able to play some zombies. I think I'm going to need to uh, re-up all my videos so I can just, you know, get a couple of videos. And maybe we can even bust out a 50 or something for you guys. Just a quick 50 and quit. That sounds fun. That'll be a ton of videos for me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I know, like... I've been milking this 97 game, but I feel like there's a ton of like behind the scenes that you guys don't really get to see about how a zombie game works. Now, if you guys want any more tips on how to become a better zombie player, what zombie players do that's bad, like my last two videos, 10 things that bad zombie players do and 10 things that good zombie players do, let me know right now down in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Aaron, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.